Hey guys, it's Mr. Perfect Life here, and today in today's video we are in our 200th video. Now guys, I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys, so thank you very much for all those people who have supported this channel. Yes, we are in my 200th video right now, and this is my 200th video on YouTube now guys. I really want to thank you a lot. If it wasn't for you guys and for not keeping me inspired by making all these videos, then I would have stopped a long time ago. But thanks to you guys and for showing so much support on this channel, and um... I would have been, I've not been here without you guys, without subscribing and without viewing all my videos because I would have just given up on life and I would have just stopped making videos. But with your help, like I said, uh, I would have not been here. So thank you so much and for showing so much support on this channel. I would not stop. 200 video is not going to be my last video. I'm going to continue gaming. And guys, I've worked incredibly hard just to make some footage just for my 200th video for you guys to like it. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on um, Twitter. And without further ado, stay tuned for this video and hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new and guys thanks for watching here we are 200th video hey guys mr perfect life here and today's video it is my 200th video as you all may know and i didn't know what to do for my 200th video so i just decided to do or answer a question or a most common question all over the internet so um as you have read on the title it is how to get better at call of duty so i'm going to jump straight into it i've got 12 simple steps that you have to follow to get where you are today if you're a beginner at call of duty or anything because me i'm like personally i'm not a big fan of call of duty so or oh, multiplayer most likely and um yep yeah, so i've got some tips here to help you out for beginners so first is play or combat training is very useful guys people might not think that's very useful but trust me guys it is really really useful um, why I say that because when I first started multiplayer I played more combat training and that's why I like the um, Black Ops 2 how you can play um, you can verse the bots in Black Ops 2 which it helped me a lot like like visualizing the map every time I'm in a real like a real gameplay so com combat made me like what can I say? It made me learn my guns. It made me learn the maps. Like 40% of the maps you're going to need to know before you do multiplayer. And trust me, guys, you may not know that you know 40% of the map, but guys, you do know it. You probably even know more of the map because you know every corner and you know everything. So, second is run UAV jammer or UAV. Now, I'm going to go explain what a UAV jammer is for beginners. A UAV jammer is a pretty much a score streak. You can get it. You can turn it on, and your enemies will have no radar on, so they can't see when you're coming. So, which will give you a really big advantage on when, um, if you're coming or not. So, it depends on the enemy if they don't even need it. If they're playing a hardcore game or something. So, if you get an enemy jammer and you jam their radar, it's a definite win for you guys. Now a UAV, especially if you're a beginner and you kind of if you're not getting that much kills, you can hit the UAV. It can give you a lot of assists, so it can keep you up on the leaderboards. So it can help you out a lot with your assists and points. Okay, this is the most important one. This is tip number three: don't sprint around corners. Now I heard, I learned that the hard way, and when I was first playing multiplayer, I didn't even think of looking left or right. And um, now whenever I play, I think of it as crossing a road. So I look left, then right. So then, um. So you're definitely going to have to look left or right because I guarantee there will be an enemy on every corner. So you're going to have to be careful, especially if you're playing like these small maps. Just look left and right. Trust me guys, they're not, they're not going to go that far. So they're going to be close near you all the time. So think and keep that in mind. Okay, shoot down choppers. Now people might not even think of putting a secondary as like an RPG or something. But trust me guys, if you're a beginner, start shooting down enemy choppers because that will give you a lot of points and will keep you on the leaderboards as well. Okay, now find your play style, okay guys, now why I said your is because people out there these days, I could admit I used to do that, we used to watch YouTube videos and they used to say, like for example, Ali A because he's a really top multiplayer um, type of Call of Duty player, and um, people copied his style. Now, he's got his own game style that which will help him to win. I'm pretty sure every single person, beginner or not, has their own game styles or own game techniques on winning, which I know I already do know. Um, my game styles and techniques if you are new to my channel you can go check out my videos you can see my game styles and stuff so um yeah um don't copy any famous youtubers because that's their game style i'm pretty sure you've got one game style pretty much more inside of you guys so it's, trust me play with your own style and play for fun okay don't use red dot sites now i learned that the hard way um when I first started, I used to put like a red dot site on a M M T A or M T A L, whatever you want to pronounce it, um, and that made the gun so much worse than what it. Or I'm not saying that the M T A is really, really bad, but I'm saying the accuracy for the red dot site for a beginner, you can use it, but you can't if you're getting used to it. Um, 
and you're like starting not to become a beginner and you're starting to be like a official multiplayer game player then don't use red dot sites <clears throat> and um yeah so sound is your friend now what that means is like a catchphrase me when I used to play multiplayer if you're as serious as Ali I'm gonna keep using Ali because he's a top multiplayer guy um don't listen to music or anything so don't have like music full blast and mute your TV because that's what I used to do so um if you want to play, have surround systems on or headsets, what I normally do. So now when I started putting headsets, I started going positive. So um, you can hear their foot, your enemy's footsteps and you can he like, get ready for them like two seconds before they even pop up. So yeah, find a comfortable sensitivity. Guys, this is pretty much the most important thing for controlling your gun. So um, if you're playing, say for example, Modern Warfare 3, um, the, sensitivity, the highest sensitivity is 10. So I recommend that around 8 to 9 to 10. So they're the three. Don't go any lower than eight. If you're already used to the, um, if you're already used to it, like on a lower sensitivity, then by all means. But when you're getting started, um, go lower than eight. But if you're getting used to the gameplay, then and you want to have like sharp reflexes and um, you want to, I don't know, like aim down sides faster than all your enemies. You don't want to be on like two and then spend like five seconds turning ground so keep bumping up your sensitivity every game but for example for black ops 2 now that there's 14 the highest sensitivity is 14 put it from 12 to 14 and um you should do well so keep bumping it up like i said every couple of games when you're feeling comfortable um bump up your sensitivity me i only had the game for like a week and in a week i had my sensitivity up to 10 from call of duty and then obviously i went to 14 for black ops 2 because i had the game for two years okay now this is another most important rule know the maps now you don't want to go hit the map and um think you're going to know all around it because people sit there studying the maps because all thanks to elite we can go into your elite and check out the top view and bird's eye view of your maps so um before you go into a map, just trust me, I know people don't like doing it, I didn't like doing it, but trust me guys, it helps you a lot. So before you play a map, go around and like, go look at the bird's eye view, look at the radar view and all that, and it will help you way more than you even expected. Okay, um, tip number 10, know your gun. Guys, don't go around holding a gun and thinking you know all about it. You have to know how much power it has, how much recoil it has, how much whatever strength or whatever it has, so how heavy it is to run around with the map. So, um, don't use like a gun that you don't even know about so just like they've got the stats under them anyway so it's not really that hard to go look at the stats and stuff so um yeah use the right gun for each map is tip number 11 so the if you i'm not saying like if it's a small map like newtown by all means you can go use a shotgun you can use a submachine gun or an assault rifle guys if it's a small map like rush or something you don't want to be using the sniper if you're a beginner because it's a close range map they're all going to be sprinting everywhere and you're not going to have as much time to quick scope but if it's a, like a small map like um rush or something or newtown you can use a shotgun because it's close range and it's easier to use okay now number 12 is the most important rule the number 12 is have fun now why, why, why you're playing don't even think about anything just think about the gameplay and just have fun you can muck around me i was going to do a series on my channel having um playing like a noob because i had um shock charges i had c4s and i kept blowing them up i got I think one of them I got 54 kills to 2 deaths just because of my C4s and I was going to have a class of that, a class setup, you need scavenger obviously but um, yeah, so have fun, me when I was playing again um, I was using my PDW and I needed like 2 more um, bloodthirsties and I kept thinking about that and I kept dying and dying because I was rushing to get that so don't think about anything like that and you should be all good Oh no guys, hopefully these tips did help you, if they did hit the like button, if they didn't comment any questions or um, inbox me like everyone does, um, if you don't understand then I'll still go in depth and I'll, I'll send you step by step what I just said, so hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this gameplay and hopefully it set a good example for the commentary, if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for more gameplays, vlogs and tutorials and thanks for watching guys and take care.